Okay. Hello. My name is John Hodgson. Uh, I am going to go through a big Hammer World Editor tutorial. It's going to be in multiple parts. Uh, today is the first part. And uh, they'll come out whenever I feel like it, but I anticipate this being done within a, a week or two. I'm not sure. Um, you may know me as RB6 Elite on uh, some of the Team Fortress 2 servers. I play a lot of Team Fortress 2, and that's what we're going to be working on. Or you may know me as Mr. John Z on YouTube. So, like I said, I'm going to be rolling out this tutorial in several installments. And just to keep things organized, I'm going to, uh, at the beginning of each installment, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So, if you were looking for something in particular, if you know a little bit about mapping already, then uh, you can just jump to that. Uh, what we're going to do this time, we're going to get used to Hammer, use some of the buttons and stuff like that, uh, show you where everything is a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do some block and brush editing. Uh, we're going to build a basic room from the skills that we're going to learn, and then do some simple texturing on our room. And then every time I end a segment, I would like to run the map and and show you how it's done. Uh, I anticipate this tutorial in its entirety to do something that will... Um, I, I, I hope that the tutorial will um, will help you build a, like a really useful map. Um, I see too many tutorials where they're just telling you how to build crap and uh, it's people will do the tutorial and they say, oh that's cool, and then they never work on Hammer for as long as they are interested in the game. So I'm trying to avoid that. I'm trying to uh, see if you guys, whoever out there is watching this, um, will continue to do some, some work. So let's get started. Get out of my PowerPoint here. All right, so first thing you should do, obviously, is open up Source SDK. So in here, we've got several different options. If you've never opened this up before, then you should probably listen. If you have, then just skip ahead. Um, basically what we're going to be working on, this is a Hammer Editor tutorial, so we're going to be working in here in Hammer Editor. And down here you've got a little drop-down box. There are three options for me, Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Team Fortress 2, and Portal. Uh, there are certain options, um, such as the portals and portals, um, that you can, that you'll need to use using this drop-down box before you start Hammer. It starts a version of Hammer, from what I understand, uh, with loaded with certain options based on what game you pick. But we're just going to be focusing on Team Fortress 2. Um, and uh, so select that and double-click on Hammer Editor. And this will open this up. I'm trying to watch my time, too. Okay, so when you uh, start Hammer, you've got nothing but blank, and it's pretty scary. So, don't worry. It's always going to be blank when you open it up. Just go to File, and you're going to have some previous uh, maps here, new, open, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to start a new file. So click there. Now I've got my uh, message box down here deleted, and you can do that too if you'd like. Um, but here we have our four views. This is what you're going to be looking at for the next forever, depending on how long you want to map. Um, different views mean different things. You've got your three 2D views, and then you've got your 3D view right here. It might be in a different place, and you can move these around, and I might do something about that um, later to show you how it's done. But over here usually is the top view, looking at your map from the top down. Right here is the view from the right, or the side, of your map. And here is a view from the front. But again, this stuff is all sort of relative, right in front. And uh, so it, once your map starts to take shape, then these views will be a lot more useful. Right now, um, they don't show you anything. So just a little bit of navigation tutorial here. Uh, should learn how to kind of uh, move around. You'll see we have a whole bunch of buttons here on the side. These are all your tools. Selection, 
magnify camera, etc. I will get to all of the tools um, eventually, but I'm only going to cover just a few in this first section of the tutorial. And then up here we've got another bar, also very important, uh, checking the grid, smaller grid, larger grid, I'll get into that. Um, and then I'm going to pretty much ignore the rest of these for right now, maybe later. And uh, this pane also important. You can move these around if you like, and then you can snap them onto the sides um, of your screen. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I want to show you is that this is very important. Uh, some movement around the views. So if you want to zoom in or zoom out on any of these views, then you can just use your mouse wheel. I assume you have a mouse wheel. And you can do a similar thing to the camera view also. If you zoom out here, then you'll see these little lines. Those are actually, um, we are looking dead on, I guess, above the, the z-axis here. And I guess this is the x-axis? I could be wrong. Uh, assuming Z is uh, top, I've been doing a lot of 3D modeling and that's top, so maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, interesting thing, this 3D view acts like your in-game view. So go, go over here to click, to click this camera button and it'll switch you to camera mode. Now in camera mode you can build cameras that will look at fixed things on your map and you can switch to those if you ever want to get a different view of your, of your stuff. Um, or you can use it in your 3D view and you hold down your uh, left mouse button and then you can use your WASD keys and your mouse button or your, uh, your mouse to move around exactly as you would in a first person shooter game. I uh, assuming since we're mapping for a first person shooter game you've played one before. So W is zoom in, S is zoom out. A and D are pan left and right respectively, and this you can use, and your mouse you can use just to look around as long as you have your your left mouse button held down. Okay, so let's start building. Go over here to the block tool and click it. Now you can't you can't move around. You can move around using your WSAD keys, but your 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 hold down your left mouse button does something different. Um, Go find the middle of your map here and zoom into it. Now, I'm not sure what your grid is on. You can see down here in the corner, snap on grid and then a number. The number corresponds to how many, what they're called, hammer units. Each of these boxes is uh, um, how wide each of these boxes are in hammer units. You can increase or decrease the size of these boxes by using the plus and minus up here in the top left corner or grid. So if you want to increase the size or decrease the size, you can do that. And this is important because you'll want to uh, draw everything that you do uh, with, uh, with blocks and brushes in uh, Hammer. You're going to want to do on your, um, on your grid. To do this, and I'll, it's better to just to show you how it's done. So, hold down your left mouse button, and then drag it so that you can get a box or a block or something like that. Let it go. Okay. Now you can see, depending on where your 3D view is, the outline of what will soon be our brush. Everything, well, most things and most solid uh, objects, or most of everybody's map will be something like this. They'll, they're made up of brushes. Brushes are solid entities. You can't shoot through them. You can't, uh, you can't walk through them. And then they do other important things that the computer, uh, that's, the computer is only concerned with. Um, and we'll get to that a little bit later. I'm just trying to keep it simple for the first tutorial. But right now, we've just outlined a place for our um, block to be. Uh, if you press Enter, there it is. It snaps into existence. And you'll notice uh, now it's red. I've got a red box here. Red. That means it's, a, it's selected. You can unselect it by using your selection tool up here and clicking somewhere off into the distance. And you can select it again by clicking on 